Hello, hello, welcome. Today I'll be briefly introducing the Scala programming language. We'll be looking at areas like uh, declaring, strings, integer, concatenation, addition. We'll also look at uh, tuples as well as list. So let's quickly start. I want to declare a string. Well, S, you could use any word, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. This is like creating an alias, val S equals John Doe. I want it to print John Doe, the value in John Doe, which is the value in S, which is John Doe. Execute. So it's printed John Doe. Now in Scala, you use the print line, print L N, print L N keyword. So let's declare another string var y equals has no identity. So I want to print. John Doe has no identity and I wanted to give it a space. So this is how you do it. Print LN S plus the double quote. You leave a space in between the double quote and then plus whatever value is in Y. So that's it. John Doe has no identity. It's given a space. This space in between the double quotes is what is in here. So let's quickly declare integer instead of VAL, use VR is 12. I want it to print what is in X. X. So that is 12. That's it here. So let's declare another one. Val y equals 10. So if you want to print the summation, the add, um, multiplication, for example, x times y. So that would be 120. This is it, 120. Let's try the summation x plus y. So that's 22. So we looked at integral, we looked at uh, strings. So let us quickly now also look at uh, if statement, a simple if statement. So let's assume val x equals 12. That we initialize x to 12 if x less than equals to 12. That's the condition. So the actions to be taken, you start it with a curly brace. And I want to quickly put an end curly brace. So if x is less than or equals to 12, I want the system to say this student failed. Failed. So this curly brace, closing curly brace, is where you put the action you want the system to perform. Else, Another curly brace, system has put an end curly brace. Print, I want the system to say this person passed, or this student passed. So let's test it. So we've initialized it to 12. So 12 should return fail. So 
So that's failed here. If we now change it to 15, we should return pass. Okay, that's passed. So also now let's quickly look at uh, how you declare a great list in Scala language. Okay, so list. Now, let me also use the word S equals. So, this is it list. Scala 2 is a strongly typed language. So, let's assume the list is uh, the odd numbers less than 10. So we now want it to print everything in S. As it is. Okay, so one, three, five, seven, nine. Now, if you want to assess the value in S, you start with the first to the left is the zero. Zero element, first element is the second element, second element is the third element. So if you want it to display one here, it will be print line. We've created S, then we create another open bracket, and then we say zero. As we want it to print the first element, we would use zero. Okay, so it's printed one. If you want it to show the second element, we use one. Okay, so three is the second element, so we used one and it displays three. Okay, so let's look at um, if you want to match. If you want to match now, if you want to match two lists, so I want to create another list. This time it will be even numbers two, four, six, eight. Okay, even numbers less than ten. All right. So what should the system do? Let's assume val. Let me use J here equals list dot. This is where you use concat. What does it want it? What do you want it to concat? You want concatenation of S and Y. So it will be S comma Y. So you now want the system to print whatever is in J. Hope I'm not going too fast. So that should be able to give us one, two, three, four, but it will first list uh, the S and then we look at the Y. So that's it. I said it will first list the S. One, three, five, seven, nine, then two, four, six, eight. Okay. So that is for list. Now let's quickly look at uh, topple. Topple, of course, um, is immutable. That is, you cannot have to read, you have to print. A new topo and topo allows you to, unlike here that we just use one um, numeric, you can use numeric, alpha numeric, and other things. So if you are going to declare topo via s, you don't need list, and you don't need anything like topo. So let's say one, and let's use this is string. Let's now use float 0.45. So I want it to print the topple S. 
into Heathcliff. Okay, so that's it's one shola zero point five. Now, if we're going to assess tuple elements, it's going to be print line s dot unlike list that the first element is assessed using zero for tuple the first element will be assessed using one the second element will be assessed using two and then it's exactly now but you are going to use dot underscore one that's how you assess the first element so let me intentionally change the first element in s here top to s to let's say 18. now if you're going to assess the first element you will print line s dot underscore one so let's execute all right so that's 18. and if you want to assess shola it will be underscore two All right, so that's all I have today. This is a brief introduction to the Scala language. Now, you would also notice that uh, Scala does not mandate you to put uh, semicolon at the end. So even though it's strongly typed, where um, just like C sharp and some other languages like Java, you would see that it is not mandating me or you to enter any semicolon at the end of the statement. So that makes it a bit easy, a bit easy. So it's, it's a beautiful language. Its focus is to be like a bridge between a functional programming and object-oriented programming. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you 